Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Uh, one day, EA, one day, one day, you won't reset my settings when I'm trying to play this game. One day, one day it'll happen. But today's not that day. Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at someone who is one of my favorite players of all time. I love this guy. My boy, Xavi Alonso. Come on. Come on, that's my boy. My boy, Xavi Alonso. I was really tweeting about him the other day. Like, I was, like, hyping him up because he... Um, He's doing like a really good job at Leverkusen, and I was like, yo, that's my boy. Um, this card is really cool, though. They formatted him pretty nicely, so we're going to see what he looks like uh, in-game, as well as the stats and all that good stuff. So he's six foot tall, high, high work rates, right-footed, four-star skills, they four-star weak foot. In-game player traits, he has flare passes, long shot, taker, long pass, or flare trait. This is fine, because I'm going to show you guys this new 4 3 one that we're actually going to be doing a review for after a bunch of videos that we're going to be doing today, right? So this card, he just has to be a lengthy on a shadow. That's going to be the most important thing. Or if I can give him even an engine chemistry style, like I do to every single card in this game. Um, let's see here. Engine is too... No, engine you can't. Engine you can't. The pace is too low. You have to give him a shadow. Oh, hold on. You can give him an architect. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. Because here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing about this card. It could be a very similar situation to Valverde because on, on Valverde's card, he has certain defensive stats where I don't feel like I have to make him a lengthy, okay? Here's the thing, though. You wouldn't be wrong to give him the Shadow Chemistry style either because the massive pace boost is really nice with an 88-88 for a card that you're most likely going to keep on stay back while attacking um, with really high defensive stats. And then physical stats is in an okay area. So shooting on the card is... It's okay, right? If he has 76 attacking positioning, that's all right, if you, especially if you keep him on stay back while attacking, right? But he's got 75 finishing. That's the low part. But he also has 92 shot power, 93 long shots. So if you're going for, like, the power shots, that could be very nice, um, as well as just the shots outside the 18 yard marks could be good. Player traits, again, doesn't have much, okay? So some interesting stuff there. But on a shadow... Uh, passing will be in a good area. Dribbling will be trying out because he is six foot tall than average body type. So I expect that to not feel like the craziest response because of the agility and balance, but we'll see. Defensive stats will be in a fantastic area on a shadow, but on an architect, he'll just be on a lengthy. So we're going to have to test out a few things here and there. Um, and then for physical capabilities for base card stats, it is set up in a decent area, except for jumping. The jumping is on the lower side. So we're going to go ahead and get the loan card and I'll show you guys how we line them up in game. Okay, cool. So uh, this is the formation here. Um, okay, so it'll be the 4-3-2-1. The instruction for Xabi Alonso is stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box to cross, cover center. That's the type of role that I see him playing best at. We did the Valverde review, but I'll probably be posting that afterwards, right? Um, after like the two main content pieces today. Uh, the rest of it will do like this. Yeah, like that's perfect, actually. I mean, technically, I can use uh, what's-his-face there, but that's okay, too. Um, all right. Awesome, awesome. Cool. Let's go try them out, guys. Okay. Oh, and uh, it's the gamer tag. <laughs> okay, Shavi, you got a, you got AI. You got AI, Shavi. All right, buddy. I see you. Oh, my own player blocks me. Oh, he's got good AI. He's got good defensive AI. I'll tell you that right now. Let me control him a little bit here. Yo, if he has AI movement like that, I wonder if it's the same thing without the shadow. Nice little challenge. I like it. You gonna continue here? No chance, right? You're on stay back while talking, my boy. Chill. Pass it upwards. I like it. Oh, he's getting involved. The dribbling, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and expect it not to be the craziest, of course. He was already going to leave if I scored that one opportunity, so... Right away. Right away, buddy. He's pausing for me to leave, too? Listen, you're being toxic, and I would destroy you, but I need to do the review. How much you guys want to bet if I score a goal against them, he leaves? How much you want to bet? Oh, buddy. 
Like a book. I can read you guys like a book. It's the same guy. Hey, bro, here, just attack against me. Just take the ball, attack against me. Just don't be a rat. I have loan cards, please. Alonzo's doing some defensive stuff for me so far. I like it. Yo, listen, his AI stuff on a shadow is really nice, man. I'm going to be the first to say it. Look, let go of him. I'm going to just do some normal stuff here. Okay, this guy's through on goal. Oh, that's going to be a normal opportunity. Let's do some manual goalkeeping here a little bit. There we go. Legrand switch downwards. Oh, couldn't get it off. Oh, look at this. When I score a goal, he starts playing like a rat. Oh, you guys are such rats, man. Good reach there by Alonso. So, obviously, the one thing I will say about the card is that for base card stats, when it comes to manual running, that could present to be a problem, right? So, you definitely need to keep this card on the stay back while attacking instruction. Like, in this role right here, where he's on, like, stay on the edge of the box with a cross and that kind of stuff, like, that's actually pretty helpful to work with, right? He even he even loses he even leaves on the like you guys you guys make no sense to me and I can read you like a book he paused it and I knew he was gonna leave even though he's winning man anyways there's not really much you have to see with these cards uh, when it comes to defending because so you just have to see the AI what their sprint speed is like when you're controlling them that kind of stuff because Valverde if you guys have ever used Valverde's card it's like this like it's a snap of the fingers you see it right away right so um, architect chemistry style I do want to give him that this time turn him into a lengthy player. Um, and I just want to see what the running is like with him, right? Because if he's on the high, high work rates, 88 to 88, it can, it can sometimes be on the lower side for a midfielder, right? So you kind of want that to be a little bit higher. So we'll see what that's like. Please don't be the same kid again. Yeah, I feel like that'll make a nice difference, man. It could be a similar situation to Valverde where doing something like that could be very ideal for him. Good challenge there, we'll take that. It's these runs here. Yeah, it's just, you could see that the animation choice of his run is just better on the lengthy. Like, if, if he's going to cover those long distance runs for him to track back, utilize the high, high work rates, very similar situation to the uh, Valverde card, if that's what you want, of course, right? No defensive thing there. But he's caught out of position this time. We could see him in the middle there. Tracking back well enough. Oh, nice try. Good save by Martinez. I missed that challenge completely, but hey, it threw him off, so we'll take it. Nice, the near post. Okay, so for this tact tactic in particular, it's not ideal to do this what I'm about to do, right? But just for the sake of the review, since he's on cover center anyways, I want to test him out like that. Um, just to see some attacking capabilities. Like I said, the dribbling, you're probably gonna have to work with a little bit, um, but I just want to see what he's like on that architect for like the long distance ones, if he has to like track back and stuff. Oh, I gave that a shot. If you're gonna go for any long shots, it's gonna be the outside foot, because that thing's nuts. Oh, get the tap off right there. We'll take that. Oh, way too much power on it. Let's 
Track back was still fine there, though. Did well there. Try to get a slide challenge there with him. Let's pass through the middle. From the weak foot, eh? Nice pass with the weak foot. Movement off the ball is good there again. Good challenge there too. Oh, and we're probably gonna get that. We don't. Almost get the defensive play there with him. Good utilizing the four star skills a little bit. See, the thing is, right, is that if you give him a shadow and you're working with 88 88 and you get into a situation like that, that's where the pace is going to be a problem if someone continues that run, right? Good defensive animation, and we're good. Good block. Ah, uh, those greens from like the middle of the area, it's uh, those are not good. You have to really go to the side areas. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Xabi Alonso card. So guys, we tried them out on both the Shadow and the Architect Chemistry style to try out the different accelerates on the card. Um, if you're on the old-gen version of the game, you're most likely just going to give them a Shadow Chemistry style because of the lack of uh, accelerate feature, right? Okay. So, a few things to talk about, right? There's a few things that I wish that they did to this card to make him feel a little bit better. I'll show you guys an example, right? So with him being a high, high work credit card, four star, four star capability, I just want you guys to see how the player of the month Valverde is formatted, right? So obviously he doesn't have the skill moves, right? But this card, when you give him the architect chemistry style, right? He has 84 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. It actually makes more sense to give it on a card like this because you'll be able to utilize that lengthy more because of where the pace is formatted, right? So it would have been nice if Xavi Alonso was formatted in a similar way to kind of fully, uh, fully utilize that on an architect's chemistry style. But, you know, on this card, it's at an 80-80. Now, we also, we also tried him out on the shadow chemistry style with the 88 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, and uh, defending being massively increased. For me personally, the way that this card feels in-game, right? is like this. So let's say for instance, you're playing this 4-3-2-1, right? And you're using this card in the right center mid position, which we will be doing a review for, right? And he's on these instructions, right? So stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box, across cover center. That's gonna be usable for this card, right? For me personally, he feels like the type where I wanna give him a shadow more than an architect. It was a similar situation to Schweinsteiger because Schweinsteiger's pace was like so low. Uh, with Xabi Alonso, if you're on an instruction like this, it makes sense to use him in that way. But the main way that I see him being played is honestly in a 4-2-3-1 setup where he's playing next to somebody else who's a medium high work rate of card where they're both on stay back while attacking in that CDM position. That's what this card genuinely feels like in game, right? Because on the shadow chemistry style, you'll notice when it comes to uh, you manually running, sometimes it's going to feel lower, right? Because of the 88 to 88, right? In this game, when you're at 88 to 88, it, it kind of helps when you have that lengthy accelerate, right? For instance, um, you know, I always sh show you guys this card, right? But Palinga, this is a bad comparison, but I just want to show you guys an example, okay? This Palinga card is so unique in his ways because when you give him a shadow, yes, he's a lengthy player on a shadow. He's 82, 83, right? but he has higher defensive stats because you can give him that shadow to work with that lengthy. And if you guys have ever used Palinga, I tell you guys, not, not just because he's Portuguese, okay, but he has a fantastic defensive animations on the medium high work rate. Not a comparison to Xabi Alonso, but I'm just showing you the difference of what the chemistry styles do to these cards and changing their accelerates, right? Um, on a shadow chemistry style, like I said, for me, if I were to be really serious about this card in my team, it would have to be in that two CDM formation playing like a four, two, three, one or something, right? Um, also, what I will say about Xabi Alonso is that I wish there was a way to actually change the work rates of the card because it would have been way better 
Had he been a medium high work credit card while giving him a shadow chemistry cell with stats like this? Because if he was a stay back while attacking medium high work credit card, it would have added a very nice variable to the card. With a high high, it just kind of makes him play a little bit differently, right? You, this is this is just a personal preference thing, right? So you kind of have to play him in that two CD information to kind of really make him work or this three midfield setup. But guess what? I also did the same thing with the Schweinsteiger card, right? I still have that Schweinsteiger card. It's this one right here. It's the World Cup version of his card, right? And sure, they're not the top tier meta, but EA made them to a point where they are going to be usable in the meta of the gameplay and you can actually do work with him. Why can you do work with Xavi Alonso? He's a high, high work credit card on a shadow chemistry style. He had the right defensive AI and his positioning was perfectly fine, right? It's going to be better on a CDM position than a center mid area, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, he has the four star, four star capabilities. Uh, he has really good passing capabilities. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like if you have a card like this on stay back while attacking, you have passing capabilities like I do with this formation because of the three attackers up top, having that passing with a four star weak foot 92 for composure is very, very helpful to work with. OK, so in my opinion, for them to be able to create a Xavi Alonso that is now going to be usable in FIFA is a W in my book, okay? It's not like a crazy top tier meta card by any means. Like a Valverde still has that FIFA it factor over someone like a Xavi Alonso 100% because of the way that it's formatted. But as an SPC that they have created to make the card as usable as possible in the meta of the gameplay, it's still a pretty W card to get if you like to use different types of teams, right? Like I said... I still have the Schweinsteiger card on my team to be able to do that. Xavi Alonso is no different in regards to that, right? So um, it would be really sick to be able to unlock a card like this, put a shot, uh, Javier Mascherano on the same team, work with some sort of like Liverpool setup. Take into account that I am saying that most of the times you want to keep this card and stay back while attacking because that's the best way to utilize it. But you guys saw that when I had him on balance instruction, even though his attacking positioning is at a 76, the card still sometimes got involved in the attack, right? And with a high, high work rate on stay back, he's still sometimes going to get involved in the attack because it, you just need the one angle for a high percentage strike to be able to hit a green to score your opportunities, right? That's the main thing that you're going to have to work with. But um, even though his attacking positioning is low, he still attacked with that high attacking work rate of his, right? But it's that track back that's the problem if you keep him on that type of instruction because you'd rather have like an actual attacking oriented card there, you know, in this four, three, two, one, in that left center mid position, I was using like Fakir. It's better to just do that. If you're going to do all that kind of stuff for this type of card, you know what I'm saying? So, um, like I said, as an SBC for a card that is going to be a usable version of himself, because all these other versions are horrible. It's still a WSBC in regards to that. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.